Ready? No, never mind. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Good? I was definitely proud of it because it was almost three years of footage in Ventura that I was kind of just sitting on. Ah! It's kind of just like a tiny beach town where like the hills make it skinnier and skinnier until uh, the downtown area is almost <laughs> touches the ocean. I was kind of fire. Everything's super close. It's not a big city at all. You could get from West Park to downtown to midtown area in like 10 minutes. Making the best of what you have around is kind of the entire thing in Ventura. There's not really that great of spots, actually. Those streets where I've filmed those clips, they start from the hills and then go down into downtown. They're all next to each other. It's in a kind of like four block radius. I was kind of the last one out of my friends to get their license. I would just skate everywhere. So I would always kind of be looking for shit. Even though I'd skated past it like countless times, I would still try to look at it a little differently. Recently, even when I have my car, I'll like park and just skate around downtown and try to like figure something out. Oh. All right, I'm going for it right here. And that's kind of where a lot of those tricks came from, just skating around, trying to like get a different eye on things. supposed to simulate the top of a roof for firefighters to train on. I've never seen them actually do it, but it'll constantly be like getting taken apart and rebuilt. It'll be sketchy as fuck most of the time. You land onto like thin plywood. My buddy actually, the first time we skated it, you're supposed to land on like where there's a beam that the wood sits on. And he landed directly next to a beam and fully snapped through the wood and his like legs went through. It's fucked. Oh, God damn it. Every time I skate that, I kind of have that in the back of my mind that I can just like go through it. I think I was like hurting on having gotten a clip in a while and I like had no idea what else to do. I remembered that thing and I was like, oh, I can totally just all into that. <laughs> First I started dropping in halfway and just checking it. Before that I was just running into all the right, bush. Right. What's going on you guys? This is like private property. Yeah, I'll be gone in like two minutes. Yeah, if you eat shit right here, I won't. I swear I'm door. professional. I won't hit your house. Really right here, I'm gonna land it and we'll be gone. I don't house, but I mean, I just. Alright, I'm yeah, sorry, I'll so. be gone right now. Alright, I gotta do it right here.
it was actually like pretty friendly. It was just shoving me off of it. And then when I fully ollied into it, I think I just went for one. And it was not friendly though, when I was like going full speed. It felt like cool. someone checked me as hard as they could. All right, right here, no bullshit. Right here, Daniel. Right here, Angel, this is for your kid. <laughs> Angel is a state of kind of like local legend. He never was like a pro skater or anything, but he feels like on that level. I mean, he definitely was on that level. He could have easily been a pro skater. He was like one of the best skaters from Ventura. He has so many parts and he's filmed a lot of videos too all around super dope dude and now he like started the skate shop here with mike anderson and he's always skating too still always run into him at west park he filmed that clip that was kind of just life goals getting a trick with angel Thanks, Angel. <laughs> Big dog. Oh. Oh. I don't even think I'm trying to look for dangerous aspects and spots. I think it's just there's not that many spots in Ventura, and then the ones that I like do end up skating. I haven't been skated because of that factor. It's not in the back of my mind like, oh, I'm trying to do something super gnarly. time it's never been grinded or the last time it's been skated was a while ago so usually always have to have a can of lacquer and a rub brick around kind of just ends up like, oh, I want to background this thing. No one's done it because it's really shady. That's probably why I end up getting bodied. Oh, what the fuck? In the back where I try to background that, that's like a old hospital. Everyone says it's like super haunted. What? I always used to think that was cool. That's kind of a reason why I wanted to skate that thing. It was super hairball. There's like no edge on the thing. Ah. Directly across the street, there's the same sort of ledge that's like rocks with concrete on it. We lacquered it up and got it ready, but that concrete's so bad, you like put all your weight on your trucks and it will just kind of crumble. gave it my best, but I couldn't do it. I'm pretty much just done with that street. Oh, I'm over it. That was my middle school. It's like down the street from my house. I just never really film like just a straight stair clip. I think I maybe did that in like five tries, which is unheard of for me. Ah, oh, that was close! Fuck! No! <laughs> I still think that's the best nolly flip I've ever done. I remember just landing it and just yelling with my arms up. didn't even know that there was a little kid in a Nipsey Hustle shirt at the end. I didn't realize that about the clip until Benny was actually editing the video. Kept pausing it on that part and laughing. <laughs> Sick. 
it was definitely a mix of both like skating from point a to point b and then looking for stuff I'd always be kind of looking for stuff, but once I actually started really trying to look, I feel like I started realizing a lot of things differently. got the idea to board slide the entire part of that kinked ledge from the way Hugo skated it one time. He lip slid one of the first kinks and then went down. I remember Aaron or, or Logan telling me about that. I was like, holy shit, you could slide that thing? The way everyone needs to skate that spot is you drop in, go off the two stair gap from the top stair set into the street. My buddy, Charlie, he ollied this fence without like power sliding or anything, like go off the two and then kick flipped the gap. The whole time I was trying to focus on each kink as they came, cause I'd never really like board slid something like that. I was thinking after I did that, how much respect I have for people that board slide kink trails. That shit is so insane. The first time I got to the end, I think I tried to go to the left and like pop out and I stuck and almost tackled the pole. After that, I think I was just like, all right, I'm going to try to just 5-0 or whatever, like how I can down this last kink. That actually took kind of a long time. The first day I went and tried it, I probably went down that thing at the end like five or six times. My shoulders wouldn't be lined up with how my feet were at the end. I would just shoot out or I'd stick or get thrown and I was just getting so tired I couldn't make it down the kinks anymore. And then I think I went back a few days later after like going to the beach for a bit. I remember feeling really good on my board and it went down pretty fast after that. I didn't really have much of a process. Kind of just go to places and try to figure stuff out. Like the bump to wall on Foothill. I would be skating with Matt or Jeff. Be like, oh, should we go to the wall and I'll throw shit at it for a bit and see if anything works. I don't know how many times I went there and I'd try like five different things. God damn it. <laughs> Did I see your board fitting? <laughs> yes, dude, they <thanks>. did it. <laughs> oh. When something kind of works and then you try to land it, then it stops working. Wow. And that's when I'd end up just losing it and Ooh. having to leave and be like, all right, let's come back another day. Oh, nice. I feel like I'm going to get Casper one I could like guide 
but the nose jam 360 chef kind of just felt like you kind of just have to get lucky. No, it just happened. <laughs> yes, dude. I think I tried that every single time I went there. I would try it for so long and just not get anywhere near close. What? I think that day that I landed it, I was there with my buddy Logan and Jake Anderson, and it happened in like five tries or something. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, that's fucked. What the fuck? <laughs> skate the one side where you can bomb down the sidewalk and then carve the bank. Aaron did a switch backside flip on it and then there's a little slappy on the inside, which I still think is the sickest thing, sickest way to skate it. Also, Jake skates it in his X Games Real Street. He threw that thing one day and just landed it perfect. Mike manualed the whole thing and I thought that was insane. And then he filmed like a manual, kickflip manual. On the other side, there's kind of a massive drop-in where this old skater, Daniel Moncris, tail drops off of it in a tail devil video. It's insane. I used to watch that video all the time to get pumped. The side that I tail drop flipped is the part where people skate the bank, like Aaron and Mike and Jake. I think I went that day just kind of to look at it to see if there's anything else to be done. Dropped in and tried to crook it without rub bricking it. Remember seeing Jeff's face light up at the bottom and I was like, oh shit, I need to do this now. That one surprisingly worked so much easier than I thought. It would just crook so good every try. <laughs> But then I kind of was being a bitch for a while and not taking the crook into the actual bank. Oh. The drop was big, probably like two or three feet. That side's pretty scary. There's a piece of concrete that kind of comes out like on the curb and then on the right is like a big wall. I remember just being so scared to take the drop off and my feet being in the wrong way or something. Bail going down that thing. I don't know how or when, but a long time ago, I think one of the first clips I filmed with Benny was just rolling off the part where I landed onto, just rolling off it into the bank. I realized that that ditch up there perfectly lines you up to 50-50 it. Oh. I think at first I wanted to do 5 0, but the way it's set up, it's almost like you have to be on your toes. <laughs> Ready? No, oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Good? Good? That was one of the earliest tricks I think I filmed for that part. 
Wow, that went uh, far. I could hear it down there. It's actually a friend of mine's tag that passed away. Thought it was perfect that it was right there in that trick. Benny, he would notice so many things about like the clips that he kind of just picked up on. I thought that was super cool. God damn it, dude. All right. I remember wanting the last trick to be the nose jam 360 shove. Benny was like, yeah, it's cool. And I think he tried, but then he was like, dude, this trick, there's so much going on in it. Like, it's a pretty good ender. I remember being super bummed at first because right. I put my hand on top of the bridge. Now I don't care at all. Should have just been happy that I got away with that. <laughs> ah, I have to try it again. Fuck. I'll probably get over it. But for now, I kind of just want to try to get as much footage as I can out here. I'm done. I'm done. Then I'll probably have to move to LA. <laughs>